Hey everybody, welcome to sunny San Diego, hence the bright lights in the window back there. And as you can see, we're not in the wood shop today, we're back in the office and we're going to talk about the Glowforge back there. Um, it's a relatively new piece of equipment to my maker library and uh, it's on loan from my sister who's kind of packed up her stuff and with her family and moving across the country and possibly overseas. So, um, like most people, when I first powered that thing up to use, it sounded like a jet engine and there's no way I could work in here with that thing going. Plus, it was kind of smelly. I had to do some cleanup on it. And what we're going to talk about today is a new, as you can see, that exhaust was going out the window, our new setup for the uh, exhaust. As you can probably hear, I think you can hear, it's um, a little bit quieter than a normal Glowforge if you have experienced one. And uh, that's because of the new outboard exhaust system and shutting off the onboard exhaust fan. And so we're going to go over that today. There's lots of videos out there with uh, about the setup in the inline fan. I'm going to show you mine. And um, it's running right now, so I'm going to wait till it runs. It's done, because as we get closer, it'll be a little bit louder. So as soon as it's done, uh, we'll hop over there with the iPhone camera and uh, take a look. So see you in a little bit. All right, it's quiet now. I'm getting ready to press the magic button in a minute. But let's go over what we have here. What I did is bought this Cloudline AC Infinity. It's upside down. Cloudline series inline fan. It's made for grow houses, but this seems to be the number one go-to inline fan for Glowforge users. Um, this is a six inch model. They do make a four inch model. And here's the differences. The Glowforge by itself, its internal fan, even though it sounds like a jet engine, is only around 200 CFM, cubic feet per minute movement. Take that number for whatever, whatever it's worth. But um, the four inch version of this inline fan is 204, 204 CFM. So it's not really an upgrade as far as moving the smoke and fumes, but it is a lot quieter than the onboard exhaust fan. I went with the six inch, because a six inch, oh, I can't remember now, it's over 400 CFM. So it pumps out twice as much fumes and smoke. And it has a little remote control over here. Let's bring it up here so you don't have to look cat hair. But, and I won't even run it. It has eight levels and it slowly ramps up. I found that when you're engraving, even at a four light, level four, is good enough to um, bring out the smoke. And here as it ramps up, And that's what it sounds like at level four. When it cuts, you kind of need to have a higher level, but whatever you want to do on noise level. So we'll let it go to max. That's max right there. And then it ramps down, getting the leftover smoke out. So I will leave a link below to both models the four inch and the six inch it is an amazon affiliate link so i get a little something but um, i'm not going to pick this up because everything's kind of sit right it does have a mounting um bracket but the only way to get to the screw holes is you have to undo this here this ring and it's it's still these two parts are connected to the mounting bracket so you disconnect these two rings and the center section comes out and then you can mount it to a wall or whatever you want to do and then put it back together. I decided not to do that. Now, the Glowforge is a four inch port. A lot of people, a lot of videos will see and try to sell you on uh, an extension uh, tube that it gets 3D printed by people like me. But, um, I found it's not necessary. I was able to get this to stick on. This uh, hosing 
is also made by AC Infinity. And it was able to get on there very good. Now, I bought... This is AC Infinity. Same company. But they're 4 inch to 6 inch reducer. And I painted it black before I got the fan in. Figuring it was by the same company. It's going to fit. Well, it did not fit at all. I, I am holding my camera, but the rim here of the six inch portion was the exact same size as the six inch on there. So it did not fit. So I printed my own three inch or six inch to four inch reducer from a file found on um, Thingiverse. And I'm actually selling these on my website through Creative Commons. It allows commercial use. So if you want these, these fit snugly on there with no clamp. So they're great. And don't leak at all that I can tell. I haven't seen any smoke come out there. There's still a little bit of odor when I'm printing. Very little. I think that's just coming back from the window. And we'll get to that portion. And then the other ends of these have a little lip on them. And this hose... It was a little tight of a fit, but it does go on there. And I didn't use a clamp just in case there. You may not need one because it's such a tight fit. Now, what you can do is you can also take a 6-inch hose from this point on if you want to out your window or wherever you're exhausting. I decided I didn't, have, I didn't want to buy another 6-inch hose. And I, I bought this from Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down below for this hose. And one purchase, the hose I got from this, was enough to cut two pieces here. And I have plenty of hose left over for other, or other places. So, and it's black. And black is cool. So, and what I did is I also printed a little port. Um, again, I got from Thingiverse. And again, this was a very tight fit, but I went ahead and used a band. And I drilled and put magnets in. And this also comes with a ring here. And then I have another one of these on the outside attached to an old dryer hose, which just kind of vents it down to the ground outside my window. And I put magnets in there as well. I wish I would have used some stronger magnets, but it works. And I've had no leakage there, so that way... I still have my screen. I can shut my window when I get too cold. And cats, you don't want to let the cats out, but it stays there nicely. But again, this may whole setup may be moving out in the garage here soon, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, anything else to go over with here with you? Uh, I don't. I think that's it. So I will list links below to the four inch and six inch inline fan to the hose and to my website for the uh, reducers if you want to purchase those there for yourself but I'm quite happy with it um, only thing is over time this screen starts I'm going to have to clean it as you can, I don't know if you can see it but the ash starts to build up on there so I'm going to have to you know, take a vacuum cleaner every once in a while and clean that but that's something you know, maintenance you're going to have to do anyway. But that's it, folks, for our low forge setup. I am going to go ahead and sign off and get to work. And if you want to like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Leave any comments below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, I will talk to you guys later.